Hello all my Libra friends and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name's Indigo and I'm here to bring you your weekly read for March 6th through the 13th, 2018. This will not resonate with everybody, so um, if it doesn't, go ahead and check out your other signs. And as always, uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. So let's get started. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the week of March 6th through the 13th, what messages do you have for Libra? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? All right. Someone's cutting off communication. Either you are doing this to them or they are to you. What's their challenge? What's Libra's challenge this week? Ooh, cutting off communication with a earth sign. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign, but it is somebody that is stable, grounded, a uh, good a good parent, a good father, um, takes care of their family. It's a male energy, so um, oops, okay, backwards and foundation. Whoa. And, whoa. Any other messages, Spirit? Oh my goodness. They are flying out of my hand, Libras. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You guys have an amazing couple of messages here. Lots of major arcana. Okay. So you guys are um, getting out of a feeling of being abandoned, left out in the cold. You have a new hope um, surrounding a relationship that either is um, from the past or you have met somebody um, new. But for this group of you, you are cutting off communication from an earth sign or an earth sign has cut off communication from you. This is a male energy that's either cut you off or you've cut off because in the past there was just too much to handle, too much to carry. This relationship just didn't um, suit you or serve your uh, higher, ugh, highest good um, and it Yeah, it turned your world upside down for one. For two, there is a second earth sign that is um, has added uh, burdens to this relationship to where it just got too much to um, handle. This could be a couple as well, a husband and wife. Whoa. Okay. Um, you are going to have a choice coming up, though. You are refusing not. To, you are refusing to not make a choice. However, you are just sitting stagnant and refusing to move on from this person, even though you're sneaking around and seeing more than one person, Libra. Um, and maybe that's why you don't want to make a choice. Uh, the other person wants you to commit and be um, just them, and you're seeing other people and. Uh, Yeah, um, you're not offering your love to a fire sign, um, or you're not committing to a fire sign. Let me see what else we got here. Yeah, definite heavy fire energy. This person has caused you uh, a lot of a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Yeah, this person's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety because. You want to commit to this person, but you fear that they're sneaking around. Um, and you're not moving forward with anybody. Even though you are coming to a halt with the um, juggling of people. Oh, there's the Eight of Wands again in reverse. So, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're being sneaky, Libra. You're cutting off communication with um, other people. 
for this fire sign potentially um, with this being your uh, your outlook card um, don't be sneaky Libra <laughs> just uh, tell them how it is if you want to see other people tell them you want you don't want to be exclusive but um, you're cutting off communication with somebody that um, you have had something to do uh, with in the past um, why is the five of swords here you are going to offer something tangible to somebody though. Um, you're gonna choose to walk away from your current situation because you are not satisfied, you're bored. And you're gonna be searching for the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're gonna be searching for that Ace of Cups because you're confused. Um, a older female air sign is going to help you She's going to uh, bring you some sort of truth in your situation. But also, Libra, I see you going through a divorce. This is your jaded lover. <laughs> and you still have feelings for her, um, for a group of you. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're confused because this is the love of your life. And and there's divorce, a divorce happening. That's for a different group of you. Um, but Spirit's saying take time to heal. It's time to heal, guys. Um, you can't keep bringing your wounds to the next relationship or it's not going to work. And you're coming out of a time of being cold, though. You kind of uh, step back. You didn't allow your emotions to be in this relationship because you knew they were leaving and you didn't want to get hurt. There is addictions here, strong addictions. Um, could be to this person or to a substance, but you now have a path to choose, and spirit saying, choose the path of healing. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? It is time to heal the sneaky shit. No, move towards something uh, more spiritual, because the, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune is here with your gift from the universe, with your solid foundation, with your new beginning, your fresh start, your slate wiped clean. But you got to stop with the secret shit. Yeah, or this person is not going to give you a second chance. You are not going to get a second chance with your Ace of Cups because of the secrets and the sneaky stuff. Yeah, they've got they've got their guard up. And even though you want nothing more than to be with this person um your past has has um caused them to want to lay the burden down why is this page of pentacles here four of wands ten of cups so to you this person is your everything your ten of cups your four of wands relationship but you're gonna have to change change the way you're behaving you got to come out of the sneaky energy um, you got to heal, bring balance to your life, heavy Sagittarius energy in this as well. You have the tools to manifest this, but you're going to have to, um, take time to rest, uh, to retreat, to go within and to heal, heal, heal. Um, because your ace of cups is in a reverse, so it's not coming yet. It's on delay. And your wishes are not coming true either just yet. So you got to remain in balance and get out of this energy. So, um, lots of, lots of, uh, seems like secrets, betrayal going on in this reading. Um, let's see, I'll pull you some. Cards from the Romance Angels deck. Okay. Whoa. All right, Libras. You guys have new love coming in. This could be a love of a lifetime and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Um, yeah. See? Okay. So these two are for one group of people. Um, true love attraction. These next three that fell out. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Unfortunately, Libra, um, spirit is telling me this is you. 
let those masks fall off. People are going to love you for you. This will not resonate with everybody, so don't comment that, oh, I'm not wearing no false mask, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. For some of you, you are. Um, because Spirit is telling me, you need to let that mask fall off because people are going to love you for you. You don't have to... Um, you're so scared of being alone, Libras, that you have so many things going off on the side in case this relationship don't work. Um, that this relationship's never going to work because they see all those people on the side. They're not, <clears throat> they're not blind. So it's time to take those masks off. People will love you for you. You also need to forgive and heal. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in the present moments. You're living in the past. You're let, allowing your past hurts to rob you of your future and current joys in life. Um, so you need to move past those moments. Forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive those who have hurt you. Learn from those. Those are karmic lessons. Take them with you. And as you release that pain and hurt from the past, you're going to allow more love into your life. And you are going to enjoy yourself so much more. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Um, have faith in your partner. Have faith in your future. Um, because everything will turn out the way it's supposed to. But but don't be trying to fool other people. Um, because no relationship can be based on sneaky behavior and lies and all that good stuff. So... Be honest with your partner. Be honest with yourself. Move on. Heal. Whatever it is that you have to do. And new love is coming in for you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful.